Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We're so happy you've joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. And please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all and I do my best to answer each question. Especially if it relates to Chipsgate's lifestyle. <laughs> now, today's show, that four-letter word, free, is it really free? That four-letter word, free, is an ambush for anyone looking to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. As a cheapskate, you need to be able to differentiate between a true free item and a pretend free item. Because remember, free isn't always genuinely free. When you see free attached to any item, before you get excited, ask yourself these questions. One, Ask yourself, do I have to pay for anything for this item? What is the exact amount in dollars this item will cost me if I accept it? Am I paying any costs in Australian dollars? Because if the cost is in a foreign currency, what is the actual Australian dollar cost after you've done the conversion? You need to know so that you know whether this item is truly Three. Two, ask yourself, are there any shipping and handling costs? Because then if there are, the item's not free. Question three is, how much are the shipping and handling costs? Often, they can be more than the retail value of the item. What would be the total cost of the item when shipping and handling is added? Because sometimes there's other hidden costs. Question five. If I choose multiple items, what is the total cost when shipping and handling costs are added? Again, it all adds up. Do you get a discount or is there a cheaper shipping rate if you buy more than one? Question six, after adding the shipping and handling costs, is the item really worth this amount? Again, sometimes the retail value is less than the shipping and handling costs. It's not free. Question seven, this is important to know, is there a long-term ongoing commitment if I accept this free item? Question eight, how much will this long-term ongoing commitment really cost? And you need to factor in the item costs, shipping and handling on an ongoing basis so you get a true figure. Now, this is especially important for book, wine, CD type clubs, things that get you in with um, the first one is free. Ask if you can cancel at any time. Question nine, ask if it's a reputable company. Does it have a good name? Do a search and find out if there's any um, eh, dodgy <laughs> or not so good um, ratings left for it. And then ask yourself, and this is question 10, what is the average cost per item ongoing if you do accept the first one as free. Question 11, is it a reasonable cost or can you source the item from somewhere else cheaper yourself? Question 12, what will accepting this offer cost you in terms of time and energy? 
what do you actually physically have to do if you accept that offer? Question 13, ask yourself, do you really need this item? Do you really want this item? Or are you just being swept up by that four-letter word, free? Being ambushed. Question 14, if it is really free, and that means absolutely no cost to you, no shipping, no handling, no service fees, no ongoing subscriptions, and you don't need it, you don't want it, ask yourself if you can use it as a gift or can you sell it to make some money or pass it on to someone who does need it or would like it. If you answer all these questions, ask yourself and answer all these questions, and the item is actually free with no hidden costs, then great, go ahead and get it. If the costs are less than the retail cost of the item, if you were to source it yourself, and you have the cash to cover those costs, because we're not going into debt, and it's just something that you need, that you use, or that you want, great, go ahead. But always, always ask yourself if it is really free. Before I go, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be lovely and very much appreciated. Please feel free to use that share link down there to share with anyone or any other of our videos that you think someone might like. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to grow and it helps our channel to be recognized more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Now, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. If you want to leave um, a comment, start it with free so that I know that you've actually watched to the end of the video. Happy cheapskating everyone and I'll be back very soon with another video for you.